Have you ever noticed how we tend to keep a tally of all of the wrongs that people have done to us? Um, this is mostly, at least for me, with people close to you, um, people who you deal with a lot, like family members, your partner, your kids, your parents, um, or people that uh, you work with and you see every day. Now, what inevitably happens is that the people in our lives do things that piss us off. Sometimes they do things that hurt us. Sometimes they do things that make us really fucking angry. Um, the bottom line is that no one is perfect and on the best of days we as humanity tend to have challenges with communication and re relationship development and things like that so it is inevitable that we're going to do things that are going to have effects on the people around us so how do we deal with this do we go out and let them know that their actions hurt us or made us angry or ask them if they could maybe do things differently next time. No. We silently and secretly open up our little mental black book, make note of the person's name, the severity of their crime against us, and deduct points from their score and the less points someone has the more we will dislike them and not want to be around them so interestingly it's like we it's like that moment when someone does something and you say okay I'll remember this this moment I'm not going to forget I'm going to remember what you did and I'll remember it. You'll see. Sometimes we try to take revenge. Sometimes we use that memory as a uh, as fuel for the fire for reminding ourselves why we are angry with this person or why we don't like them or whatever. But generally, what this pattern represents is how we have this tendency to want to hold on to our emotional reactions. Yes, someone might do something that hurts us or makes us angry. It doesn't make their actions right or wrong, but we... Um, are the ones who are going to determine how we respond to their actions, regardless of the nature. So yes, just because someone did something that um, was unacceptable or was not very nice, it that in itself doesn't actually justify how we respond to that most of the time. Because what does emotional reaction actually create? At the end of the day, it's mostly just more of the same. More of the same hurt, more of the same anger, more of the same hatred, more of the same loss of respect. Emotional reactions don't in any way enhance our lives. It doesn't make life better. It doesn't make life easier. It certainly doesn't make developing relationships easier. Because now, instead of us being able to learn from each other, to learn from our mistakes, to open up and share what we're going through and to support other people to maybe consider their actions differently, we are sitting there getting angry, getting upset and using that anger and that, that emotional charge of whatever it is that we're feeling to um, drive and motivate 
our dislike for someone and our unwillingness to be around them, our un unwillingness to support them. So we're ending up within those emotional reactions, literally just breaking down our relationships because those reactions are what is going to most likely stop us from actually trying to make changes, from trying to improve situations, from trying to get past something that happened and learn from it and move on in, in forgiveness. So, we are essentially within these acts of keeping score in our minds of all the wrongs that have been done, just holding on to that emotional state and using it to validate our actions, um, validate how we treat someone, validate how we talk about someone, validate how we think about someone. Like, yeah, that person is an asshole and they don't deserve to have that position that they're in because of all these things that they did to me. Look, I have evidence. It was this. They did that to me. And they did this other thing to me too. And then there was this other thing that they did to me. You see? You see what they're like? Yeah? You see? And it's like we victimize ourselves and we make the other person this evil perpetrator who's destroyed our life or who has made things difficult or who has been inconsiderate and been a bastard. So... How do we change this dynamic? How do we change from keeping score and holding on to emotional reactions to you know, finding a different way through that doesn't involve our getting emotional, that doesn't involve breaking down relationships? Well, obviously the question that we need to ask ourselves is, okay, that's not what I want. That's not how I want to respond to situations, even the worst of situations. How do I want to respond and how can I help myself to respond in that way, to respond better, to be better in difficult situations, to be better with difficult people? How do I ideally want to deal with those situations? And what have been my challenges? Okay, now that I know my challenges, I can help myself to overcome them more easily. So, yes, it's not a quick fix. Yes, it's not necessarily easy, but it is quite simple. We have to change ourselves in order to create change. It's as simple as that. If you don't like the way that you're responding to a particular situation, you have to change the way that you respond. And that is a deliberate action that's a deliberate living of change so the next time you see yourself making a mental uh, checklist or keeping a scorecard of all the wrongs that someone has done take a moment to pause and actually find out what is really going on there because you're busy turning someone else into a monster in your mind, making it all about them. And within that, there's no space for self-reflection. There's no space for taking responsibility, for seeing how we can improve ourselves. And yes, there is always the opportunity to grow, even from the worst situations or from the worst encounters with the worst people. All right, everyone, I'm going to leave it there. If you have any questions or comments, please contact the page. And um, if you'd like me to deal with any particular topics uh, or answer particular questions on this topic that you'd like me to elaborate on, you can also leave a comment or send a direct message. You can support me on Patreon. The link is in the description. Otherwise, thank you for watching. I'll see you next time.